You know what? S stupid, stupid sound suggestion. Guys, welcome back to another Gunner TV video. Today, we're gonna be talking about killers. And I'm not talking about the lame kind, your Ted Bundys, your Jeffrey Dahmers, pussy shit. I'm talking about the killers that hustle, that put in that work, that are on the grind. So metaphorical, I'm talking about metaphorical killers. So that's what a killer does, just shit happen. Thank you fucking all 10K killers. And then go into the killers main chat and say, what's up killers? And then all the killers are gonna say, What's up, killer? Of course, this is the return of Dollar Sign Empire. The boys, Drew and the other one. He's really quiet. His name's Matt. Last time I talked about these guys, they were doing on the street interviews, asking people if they were founders or investors and how they were going to plan their world domination. What's your plan for world domination in the next 10 years? Um, run. <laughs> we got to beat everybody else so we can win. That's, yes. that's the goal that's here. The Believe it or not, that young woman actually grew up to become Vladimir Putin because she felt so inspired to run and dominate the world after this interview. Thanks, Dollar Sign Empire. And to be totally candid, Drew actually did reach out to me through DM after that last video. He sent me like 10 of their newest TikToks followed by, do we still suck? <laughs> Kind of passive aggressive. And then I gave him some advice and he was actually reciprocative of it. So credit where credit is due. But the newest escapade they're on is something that I just couldn't ignore. You've read the title, so let's just get right into it. Okay, what are we doing? We're leaving Naples, Florida and we're going to New York City. 16 day walk. Let's see how long it takes us. I've got a Red Bull, a backup Red Bull, two bags. Matt's got one bag. Let's go. And we're going from Naples, Florida to New York City, Manhattan. That's where we're going. Yep. Mm-hmm. No, right. Yeah, sure. Yeah, definitely. Absolutely. Yeah. Walking from Naples, Florida to New York City. I couldn't think of a better idea, actually. Two rebels. I would say you're probably overprepared for this walk. And never mind them wearing sunglasses at night, but 16 days, though? 16 day walk. Boys, I hate to break it to you, but there's no fucking way. And I'm not a hater either. I mean, it's physically impossible. I've done the math. Let's say their average walking speed is, and we'll be generous since they're literal apex predator level killers, five miles per hour. And there's approximately 1300 miles from Naples, Florida to New York City. Assuming their Herculean bodies can treat this walk like a nine to five. <coughs> oh, oh my God. Oh, I'm sorry. Us killers are repulsed by that concept. I just threw up my mouth a little bit. But eight hours of walking per day, let's say, it's gonna take them roughly one to two months to get to New York City. And he chose to wear Sperry's, like boat shoes, intentionally making it harder on himself. And that's what a goddamn killer does. I love to see it. So night one commences, the boys are on their way to NYC, but unfortunately, this is where we already start to see some hesitation. All right, so quick status update. It's way colder than I ever thought it was going to be on this trip. Honestly, I, I can't imagine. I can't contemplate or comprehend going that much further, but you know, no, we're fucking relentless. And we're gonna fucking keep going. Just, just for the record, this was Matt's idea. This was all Matt's idea. He's calling her back. This is night one, guys. You're still in Florida, the warmest of the states you're about to travel. But hey, we're relentless. We're going to keep going. This was Matt's idea, not mine. And we're going to walk all the way to New York City, whatever it takes. This is Dollar Sign Empire, after all, lest we forget. The next generation of business moguls forging their way through their enemies with blood, sweat, and toil, crushing the competition because they just don't know when to quit. They set an example for us plebeians to never take the path of least resistance because they don't- All right, this is day two, walking from Florida to New York City. We just stayed at a friend's house for one night. From here on out, it's all hotels. Oh, well, what the heck, guys? After my big speech? Night one, you stayed at a friend's house and you're staying at hotels going forward? That's not what I thought we signed up for. I thought there was gonna be a certain level of adversity here. I wanted to see you guys sleeping on the side of a highway, taking the wilderness head on, fighting Florida men on, on bath salts with a, with a stick you shaved down into a spear. But instead, you're getting all cozy in your PJs at a sleepover? Look, I can let it slide this time, but I think we're gonna need some clarification of your rules here. The rules of this trip are this. This, okay, we get to New York City by any means necessary and we use zero pre-existing money We use zero pre-existing personal connections. The only thing we use is leverage Dollar sign empire Leverage it starts with an L and it ends with average. Okay. Well, I think that's a little bullshit starts with a B ends with all shit I feel like they're being intentionally vague by changing the language from we're gonna walk to New York City to we're gonna get there By any means necessary, but I could be and hope that I'm wrong But so be it the new rules are to get to New York without using any pre-existing money No pre-existing connections and just using leverage to pay for things whatever that means Yeah, so me and Matt are out here We just bought a gun and we're gonna use leverage to point it at a man to make him give us all of his money. It's just kind of the grind mindset you have to have out here using nothing but leverage, like just what killers do. And well, we're actually killers now because because we shot him dead. He said no at first. And I keep joking around with that word killer because this is what Dollar Sign Empire refers to themselves and their fans as. Just a bunch of killers who I guess 
kill their goals, murder their visions, vehicular manslaughter their way to the top. How's it going, boss? One question for you. What is your vision? Stay alive. Stay alive. What about in business? What are you going for? Just healthy, man. Stay healthy. All right. Thank you, man. All right. So, you know, in the middle of nowhere, it's going to be hard to find killers. Yeah. Psh, no killers out here. Just some bum ass repairman trying to stay healthy and provide for his family. He doesn't want it enough. Pathetic. Which I probably spit up because he was up there. Because that's not what a killer's about, guys. I looked on their Instagram, they have the definition right here. A killer is a noun, Kyler, a person who bets on themselves, kills shit, and wins the bet. I fact-checked it on Merriam-Webster, and that's real, it's true. That's a real definition. Is it not getting through to your child's play, duck soup, kid stuff brain yet? It means killers take risks, as Drew reminds us daily on this walk by challenging cars to hit him for no reason. We're in the middle of the intersection right now. Look at this shit. Woo! Amazing. I'll show, oh, oh, okay, all right, all right, look at this. Oh, we're in the highway, baby, let's go, let's go. What risk is this repairman really taking? Oh, he might get electrocuted and die. Yeah, and that'd be the first thing killed his whole life. Good for him. Now, that's what they're probably thinking, but with how they act, I would say a killer really boils down to just having a massive ego. Everybody's gonna be watching this shit. Tomorrow night, we might have 100K viewers in this live. I'm gonna be calling the news stations. I'm gonna be calling everybody. When Kanye West was writing his music, I feel like this is what his thought process was. Okay, so there's gonna be these two motherfuckers and they're gonna start something called dollar song empire and that's what i'm gonna make music for all right killer this is real transparency right here i i fell into the trap of overthinking today i know all killers can relate to this because our brains are so far above everybody else's that sometimes we overuse them and we overthink just because like our brains are like so much better than everyone else's it's like we got like supercomputers up here i don't even have to talk to you killers if i wanted to i could just telepathically beam the information straight to your brain hold on i'm actually in mid conversation with kanye right now what's up kanye oh yeah you wrote all your music and songs about me yeah yeah it sounds about right keep killing it kanye look it's tough to balance between confidence without it slipping into arrogance and i think we all have to walk that line daily but you're not even near the line you're hundreds of miles away from it actually perhaps even the distance from florida to new york because this is just a superior complex plain and simple and if this is what dollar sign empire is trying to cultivate and grow then i'm no killer consider me a docile little lad scared of the sun because this lifestyle isn't for me could someone slip these kids some acid so they can experience ego death stat well, on the wall street journal on forbes on any business media you don't get that that killer energy that there's it's not about the people i think people and killers especially the, the killer energy is missing from business media What's the what best is, piece of business media we have? Wolf of Wall Street. Yeah. Guys, am I getting played? Is this whole thing a bit? I made this exact joke about them in my first video. All right, so as you guys can probably tell by now, these guys are the biggest stereotypes of someone who watched Wolf of Wall Street for the first time, and it's now their personality. Are they being ironic about their entire social media presence and I'm the fool falling into the trap of covering it? Did Drew, on his ethereal plane of higher brain power convinced me to make this video i don't know what's real anymore i'm scared no gunner no stay strong you can win this back off drew i'll kill you with alcohol and you know i'll reiterate we we're never here to give advice we're never here to teach we're never here to do any of that bullshit that you have a million people trying to do trying to teach you trying to give you advice trying to motivate you it's all bullshit. It's all bullshit. Send a fire emoji right now if you agree with me that that's all bullshit. Such bullshit. So now I'm a little confused because if Dollar Sign Empire isn't about giving advice, then what is it? Is it like an after school club? No, but you said it was a media empire of killers. Wouldn't that be to help teach and motivate each other? But wait, no, you just said advice is bullshit for some reason. But isn't your entire TikTok page asking other people for their advice? I'm confused. I think this might be me actually sort of mind battling back Drew because a piece of criticism I gave in my first video was that they're unqualified to be giving business advice. Maybe on like TikTok growth, but not intensive business advice. And I think maybe Drew thought I meant that all advice is bad, which is certainly an interesting take. Advice, it's preachy. It's nonsense. And I won't stand for it and neither should you. I realize I've just given you a piece of advice to stand against advice. What a conundrum I found myself in. We're getting sidetracked. Let's get back to the walk. I believe this is day four. We're in the middle of Nowhere, there's just woods all around us. We just fat past the first place in probably fucking an hour. I, I don't know. I, I really hope up for up there is gonna be more civilization. Okay, now this is what I like to see. Dollar Sign Empire on the open roads, struggling to walk in the beating hot sun. This is what it's all about, right? 
R right? Came to this hotel, they don't have a reservation, they fucked up. But we went live, I went live and I was going fucking in. I was going off, I was pissed. And there's someone that was in our live that lives in this area and he's actually on the way now. He's gonna pick us up, we're gonna stay at his house. DSE Killer, someone in our audience. Uh, we're in Sarasota, he's actually gonna pick us up and take us upwards to Bradenton. So we're gonna be, we just, we're just gonna save a hundred miles too. <laughs> no, no, I, I won't allow it. Your hotel screwed up and now you get a ride 30 minutes north and a place to stay? What happened to not using pre-existing connections? Is Dollar Sign Empire and your fans relationship not considered a pre-existing connection? That's horse shit. Starts with an H. Ends with horse shit. Okay, fine. Maybe I'm being too hard on them. Maybe they got screwed out of their sponsored hotel night. Maybe they deserve one more free pass. Without Stoney, last night would have been a shitty experience. Shout out Stoney. I appreciate you, man. Making things happen. We're out here in Tampa now. Saved us about probably eight days to get here, but it saved us. We're, we're here now within an hour. It's freaking amazing. Oh, okay. So you just asked him to drive you to Tampa the next day. Just cause. So it's more like you're hitchhiking to New York now. And since you're using the pre-existing connection to your fans, you're just kind of driving to New York off your fans' gas money. This whole leveraging aspect is leveraging your fans and their bank accounts, I see. Which if that's the case, why don't you stop wasting their time and money and just leverage one of them to fly you to New York? Oh wait, someone actually offered that. I'll buy you guys a flight right now from Jacksonville to JFK or LaGuardia. Nah, no flights unless it's private. Why? Where are you drawing these arbitrary lines, Drew? So if I sponsored you an economy class ticket on United Airlines, well, that's a big no-no. That would actually fully compromise the integrity at Dollar Sign Empire. But if I got you a private jet, well, <laughs> that's well within the rules. Feeling pumped today because we're going to Jacksonville. DSC killer Michael Lopez hooked us up with this room at the Hilton last night. Thank you, Michael. And guess what? He's arranging a ride for us to get to Jacksonville today. Now, don't be mad. Remember, this is about business, leverage, and networking. This is not a health crusade. Let's fucking go. Don't be mad. I'm more disappointed. And more of your fans should be too. They got sponsored a chauffeur from Tampa to Jacksonville. And have gone pretty much against everything they originally set out to do. How much of your fans' money are you going to burn through before you give this up? Drew and Matt, if you want to throw in the towel, say that you messed up, that you were in over your heads, that there was no shot you were going to walk to New York City, let alone in 16 days, I think your audience would appreciate that much more than you constantly shifting the rules to where a walk to New York has just become, yeah, we're just like kind of on vacation. Staying at really nice hotels, they all got pools, we're getting chauffeured everywhere. It's kind of dope, actually. So the mission isn't the walk anymore. The mission has always been to leverage our way there with Dollar Sign Empire. Yeah, it's a good thing we never got you on camera committing to walking there before, or else that'd be pretty embarrassing. What's that? We have clips one, two, three, four, five, and six of them saying exactly that, ready to go. Okay, yeah, roll those. This is not a joke. We're actually walking to New York City. Like, this is no, yeah, real. no joke. The Fucking drive. go to New York City, the drive, except we're walking. We're not driving, we're walking. We're going to New York actually right now. Oh yeah. We're walking. Walking? Walking, yeah. We're walking to New York. Perfect, someone said, what's the next step for DSC? Well, we're walking to New York City. The next biggest risk is walking to New York City. Now, don't be mad. I think we all knew from the start that walking from Florida to New York was a pipe dream and not something they were actually gonna do, which is why I recorded every Instagram story update from the start, especially when they thought that 16 days was the correct amount of time to get there. The real question is, why did they do it? Who convinced them this was a good idea? Your car interviews were doing just fine and your accountant has grown exponentially because of them. Why stake your credibility on this? Why are we walking from Naples, Florida to New York City? I thought it was obvious. I thought, uh, I thought it was really obvious. If you're a killer, what we're doing is not that different from what you do on a daily basis. A lot of people are asking, how did we get this idea? How long did we sit on the idea? Well, you know, it was an impulse. We didn't really sit on it too long. We thought of it talked about it for a very brief period of time and we started doing it. I thought it was obvious why we did this. We thought about it for 60 seconds and then we started walking. Remember, Matt's idea, by the way, not mine. There's not much more I have to add to the story right now. They're in Jacksonville riding around on bird scooters. I think just kind of hoping everyone kind of forgot about the walk part or bird like 100% sponsored them. Like probably, right? Like, yeah, I could definitely trust these guys. Yeah, definitely. Now look, I don't want to send any hate to these guys. I realize I have to be more responsible with my language now that we're plus 20K. Yeah, baby. In my first video, I think I said something along the lines of I want to see the dollar sign empire burn. 
<laughs> it's a bit inflammatory. I think these guys can actually be nice despite the occasional superiority complex, as evidenced by Drew's DMs with me before. I just hope he's open to learning going forward and not to be so sure about everything. And Matt too, I guess. I still don't know jack shit about him and I've made two videos on them now. Well, that's the end of the video today, killers. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram where you can see live updates of the literal murders I commit on the daily and consider joining Patreon if you liked what you saw with your eyeballs and want to help support me directly. With that all said, good day. Why do they wear shades at night? I don't get it. Uh -huh.